Tonight's Soul Knowledge takes a closer look at probably one of the brightest periods of innovation and inspiration coming through from the Nike brand. This period is referred to as the Nike Alpha Project. And tonight, I tell you a little bit more about these five dots, what they mean and what it's all about. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Soul Knowledge, the home of the sneaker story and the home of sports culture insights. I'm your host, Bernie Wickham, and I'm the sneaker evangelist. If this is your first time tuning in, I've got a lot of good news for you. We've got 24 episodes preceding this one that is packed with stories of inspiration and innovation from the sports brands. Two more episodes follow this one to call it the end of season four, and it's been a good run. If you are new, at the end of every episode, I reveal a piece of a sneaker for one second. We call it one sneaker in one second, and it's up for you to see if you can identify the sneaker I'm talking about. Well, let's continue on with the Nike Alpha Project story. In the early 2000s, Nike embarked on a monumental idea of innovation. By spending time with elite athletes to create product, that solved all of the problems that they had on the road, on the running track, or on the basketball court. All of these problems were sat down with a blank pen and paper, and the athletes were asked the questions on what would be the most ideal product. They had no boundaries on what their imaginations could have put onto paper. And this project started right in the beginning of the issues that any athlete had. It was called the Alpha Project, starting at the beginning to listen to the needs of the athlete. Every category of the Nike business was focused under the Alpha Project, trying to find ways to make all shoes lighter, faster, stronger, more water resistant. Whichever issues the athlete had put on the table as a concern or a limitation or a hindrance to performance, the Alpha Project looked at and tried to solve those problems. This was focused on pinnacle, even at to the level of footwear, apparel, sunglasses, watches. I mean, any single thing that was called as an opportunity was looked at, identified and improved on. In order to allow consumers to eventually understand which product has gone through the thinking of the Nike Alpha project, Nike had landed a call out on all of the products to show that these shoes belong under the umbrella of the Alpha project. These five dots signify each step in the process of the product. And this is how it goes. Number one, inquire, then research, then create, then test, and finally compete. Now with the Alpha Project's five step solution in trying to create better product, once it reaches the end of the five stages, it would reevaluate the product and start the questions from scratch by um, inquire, research, create, test, compete. Again, inquire, research, create, test, compete. Until at the end of the process, both the brand and the athlete are satisfied that the outcome is now the product which has solved the original issues raised by the athlete. Now, having a look at the sneaker in my hand and the Alpha Project itself, this is the Zoom Hyperflight, one of my personal favorites. I've got two colors of this in my private collection, and I also had the first one at launch, which was the red black. Absolutely loved the shoe. Now, the athlete who sat with Nike with the initial interrogation of the sneaker was interested in a product that was lighter than any basketball shoe they had ever played in. Now, when this product came out, the Hyperflight was the lightest basketball shoe on the market and literally just offered just the support on both the medial and lateral sides, that's about it. But everything else that is traditionally expected within a basketball shoe was completely just stripped away. The shoes were given the treatment of Nike's Zoom Air Cushions, which means it's meant for a fast player. And this shoe does fall within Nike's Flight Series, so that's just meant for lightweight, fast, and agile. Finally, just a few honorary mentions of sneakers which belong within the category of the Nike Alpha Project. This is one of the jewels of my collection, and this is the Nike Flight Posit. As you can see, it does carry the branding of the Alpha Project in the back. And I can guarantee you, season five will be taking place, and this shoe will feature as one of the episodes. 
it, it's just one of my biggest treasures within footwear. We cannot forget shoes like the Cucchini, the Presto, the Zoom Citizen. My goodness, the Zoom Citizen was such an outrageous idea for a pair of running shoes, but just with suede, white suede on the upper, it just sounds out of control, but I'm telling you, what an amazing shoe. We need a reissue. The Air Tuned Max, under the Shocks banner, the BB4, the R4, the XT4, there's just so much. The watches, the, the, the Triax 250, the, um, the Typhoon that could tell the tides of 52 countries, the Ambient Frozen, there was just so much that just came out of it. Sunglasses, the ailerons, it just doesn't stop. And it was, in my opinion, one of the brightest pieces of, 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 of Nike's innovation history that has just truly stuck with me and so much of this product I've owned. Um, they've just fallen apart as the years have continued and I so desperately want a lot of these to come back. And even with this over here, this is a cross section of the Zoom Seismic, which I have used in a previous episode before. And even if you can see with a cross section, only three of the five dots still came through showing off that Nike Zoom technology. This also belonged to the Alpha Project series. And uh, the Zoom Seismic, just my love for this, just cannot be contained. So I hope you have a fresh sense of what that era meant. And I want you to go through your collection and see if you can actually find some old sneakers that have those five dots on it. Find a chair picture, let me understand what you've got. What a beautiful time for sneakers. I trust that you understood it a lot better. Inquire, research, create, test, compete, the Nike Alpha project. It's been such a pleasure sharing that story with all of you. A lot of love, and I hope that you walk away from this with your soul knowledge one level higher. Cheers.